Hello, welcome to Herefordshire Young Carers. My name's Susan Brace and I am the lead for the Young Carer Clubs and I've been working with young carers for 10 years now and if you're not sure what a young carer is or what Herefordshire Young Carer Clubs do to help them, you've come to the right place. This is a bit of an update to the earlier video that I posted and the good news is that after the summer we did restart our face-to-face -face clubs. We hold three young carer clubs in the county and we hold them in Lemster, Hereford and ross on -Wye. We also have kept our online Zoom club going which has proved very popular so if you can't get to a face-to-face -face club for any reason if you're able to get online, you can still meet other young people and have fun and a bit of a break that way. We've also done um, a few trips and outings. So most recently we went to the courtyard to see the pantomime and we've had a lovely day at Dunfield House swimming and watching a film. And we've got a lot more planned for next year as well. Young carers, our children and young people, are providing extra support for someone in the family who needs that little bit of extra help to manage. Now that could be because it's somebody in the family who has an illness or a disability. It might be that they struggle with their mental health. It might be that they have a problem with drugs or alcohol. Regardless of the condition, that person needs extra support and help. And that's what these children are giving. They're doing extra things that you'd normally expect an adult to be doing. And that can be anything from practical support with housework, taking care of brothers and sisters, to pretty much looking after themselves because there's no one else to do it. Or it could be emotional support, keeping somebody company or keeping somebody calm, talking them through things when they're having a really bad day. All of these extra responsibilities are hard enough when you're an adult. When you're a child and you're trying to manage education and a social life at the same time, that's very problematic. And it can be quite isolating. They think they're the only ones, but there are an awful lot in Herefordshire. Over the past 10 years, we've supported literally hundreds of young carers. Help them to have a break and a bit of fun. That's where the clubs come in. We run those so that young carers can get away from things for a couple of hours to just have the focus on them and to choose what they want to do with their time. We're very young carer led, so they get to decide the kind of things they want to do at club. And that's what we try to deliver. So they have fun. You can see all sorts of stuff that we do on our various social media channels. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We've got a YouTube channel and our own website. So check them out, see what we're doing. If you think you might be a carer, or if you think you know one, get in touch through any of those methods, drop us a line, ping us a message, and it is so easy to register with us. You can simply fill in a form, drop us a text, give us a call, that's it. It's as simple as that. And finally, I'd like to thank all the kind people who have donated money to us this year and fundraised for us. Thank you so much. As you may or may not know, um, Herefordshire Young Carers Club is totally independent of any government funding, general or local, and everything we do is funded by a main grant from Children in Need and other donations from very generous local organisations and people for which we are very grateful. Thank you so much. If you supported Children in Need again this year, we can only say thank you. <laughs> it's much appreciated. So um, that's the update at the end of the year. And I hope it's been as good as it can be given the circumstances. But let's hope that 2022 leads to better things onwards and upwards and have a very Merry Christmas. Updates in the new year. See you soon.